Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. The Vikings who invaded Western and Eastern Europe were mainly pagans from the same area as present-day Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. They also settled in the Faroe Islands, Ireland, Iceland, peripheral Scotland, Greenland, and Canada. Their North Germanic language, Old Norse, became the mother tongue of present-day Scandinavian languages. By 801, a strong central authority began to have been established in Jutland, and the Danes were beginning to look beyond their own territory for land, trade, and plunder. In Norway, mountain and terrain and fjords formed strong natural boundaries. Communities remained independent of each other, unlike the situation in lowland Denmark. By 800, some 30 small kingdoms existed in Norway. The sea was the easiest way of communication between the Norwegian kingdoms and the outside world. In the 8th century, Scandinavians began to build ships of war and send them on raiding expeditions, which started the Viking Age. The North Sea rovers were traders, colonizers, explorers, and plunderers. Many theories are posited for the cause of Viking invasions. The will to explore likely played a major role. At the time, England, Wales, and Ireland were vulnerable to attack by being divided into many different warring kingdoms in a state of internal disarray, while the Franks were well defended. Overpopulation, especially near the Scandies, was possibly influential. Technological advance, like the use of iron or a shortage of women due to selective female infanticide, also had an impact. Tensions caused by Frankish expansion to the south of Scandinavia and their subsequent attacks upon the Viking peoples may have also played a role in the Viking pillaging. Harold I of Norway had united Norway around this time and displaced many peoples. As a result, these people sought for new bases to launch counter-raids against Harold. Vikings would plant crops after the winter and go raiding as soon as the ice melted on the sea, then return home with their loot in time to harvest their crops.